Good morning, guys. I am actually working on making the soup of the day, which I make one once it turns into fall, winter, and all that. I make a soup every day so that while I'm working, someone could just come and go. But what happens if you have a can and don't have a can opener, okay? This isn't something that you really want to do, but if you're in a total emergency, I want to show you how you can do it. Use the mess on the counter. I was cutting veggies. So, what you do is you can take a spoon. You can also use a knife, but no matter what you use, put some goggles or something on your eyes because if it pops up, you have a problem, it could be dangerous. So, all you're doing is you just want to break this one seal on the top. And I'm not going to do it because I broke my wrist two times this year. But I'm going to just tell you how to do it. You just kind of take a spoon and kind of go all around the edge here to break the seal. And it's going to take some effort. You're going to probably hold your spoon like this. You can probably try a knife and kind of poke it and get it around. But like I said, wear safety goggles because this isn't something easy. It's like a hard thing to do. But if you're camping or something, you need to know this. An easier way is to take the can... Turn it upside down. I'm not going to use this in the soup. I just had to grab a can because I used the ones I had. You just take it upside down and you can rub it on top of a rock, concrete. Is to buy an electric can opener. Right. <laughs> but without a can opener, that's clay. But you just kind of can take it across the, um, like a sidewalk or a piece of concrete or a rock. And because all you're doing is breaking the seal. So you can get into it and then kind of peel it back. You know, like I said, it's going to take some effort, but it can be done. So in the worst case survival incident that you get trapped in a bunker with gobs of canned goods and no can opener, you just take it on the floor or if you're lucky enough to have a spoon or something and then cover your face because, especially if you're not used to doing it, I've never done it, it can be... A little dangerous so anyway try at your own risk um, and like I said it's gonna take some effort so the strongest guy in the room is gonna probably want to be the guy doing it so all right there you go remember big or small you too can be a backyard farm God bless